prophet and what the role of a messenger is. And neither includes the idea that anything is added on top of the Quran. So, you, so where do you get this idea that a prophet adds anything, uh, adds anything other than delivering the Quran? Where do you get that idea? Uh, where do I get that idea? Actually, I can get that idea from the Quran as well. Okay, go ahead. Please show me. But uh, why? What do you think? Uh, I mean, first of all, why did we jump from the last uh, chapter that we were reading? When you said, I mean, you. I mean, okay, we can we can stay there. The point remains this: if you want to associate anything with Allah. You have to have the authority to do so, and you have to show that from the Quran. You do not make any claims so about God you, that you do not so, know. That's all. Okay, beautiful. You said it rightly. When, and when you said any, associate anything with Allah, then is the Quran a thing? No, but the Quran is not associating with Allah because these are His words. Even even, even if you want to go, even if you want to go that line of argument. Allah no, equivocally states, Allah, equi can we not speak over each other? You asked me something, let me respond. Allah, even if you want to go down that line of arguments, Allah unequivocally states that this Quran is from Himself. So the Quran is not in un, under question here. I don't know why every time Hadith uh, has a question mark, you guys always run to the Quran. The Quran is not the issue. The issue is this other stuff that you want to associate with what the Quran, the, you need to prove it. What is the other things that you're talking about? Anything other than the Quran, anything other than the scriptures mentioned in the Quran, i.e., the Torah, the Injil, the Zubur, and the Quran. Those are the those are the scriptures God has informed us about. You guys want to introduce something else to us? You need the authority. Okay, first of all, what do you mean by we are trying to push something else in the Quran? I don't know why you're playing silly. You know you are. You, are you not pushing hadiths? Isn't that what you was going on about? That you in the hadiths and sunnah, you have all these wonderful practices, etc. Cool, you want to call them wonderful? So be it. But you still need authority. Okay, hold on. So are you, are you referring to the verse when it says... Uh... Brother, was you not going on about the five prayers and stuff like that? Was that not what you was going on about before I came up? Uh, you was going on about that, weren't you? No, I'm I'm bringing you the verse. Like I'm just trying to. No, can you respond to me? You was going on about five prayers and stuff like that before I came up. Were well, you not? Yes, I was. Okay, cool. The five prayers you are associating that with Allah. You need authority. Where do you get the idea that there are five prayers? Do let's go. that point. you say, huh? All I'm saying is you have a point. Come on. Uh, hello. You guys hear me? Chris, stop praying on the week, Chris. It's a good point, Ishmael. That's all I was saying, man. No, it's not a good point. Uh, can you guys hear me? I apologize, man. My <coughs> so, uh, brother Gold, was that you, right? Gulet, Gulet. Gulet. There's a whole E there, bro. Go on, I'm joking, go on. No, uh, you know, go uh, I'm he, joking, he, I'm he, joking, go on. Uh, that's a beautiful name. It's kind of like a Turkish name, actually, where I'm from. So, it's Somali. It's Somali. It means victory. Go on. Beautiful. So you're Somali. Uh, that means you speak Arabic too, right? No, I'm Somali. I'm not an Arab. Please continue. Well, <laughs> yeah, Somali. All right. Anyway, what, what, what was I saying, actually? If you can, if you can help me out. I, you, was, you, was, you was associating some stuff with Allah. And you need the okay, authority to do so. So yeah, that's beautiful. Thank you. So when you, when we say hadith, what the word hadith means is uh, well, is narration. And in that hadith, there is something called sunnah as well, which is mentioned in the Quran, Sunnah Allah Rasulullah, so many times. Do you think that the Prophet was uh, quoting all these things uh, from his head? I don't I don't believe the prophet had anything to do with this stuff just because you say the prophet said so. Okay. Well, I'm what supposed to believe you? What do you I'm saying one minute, one minute. For, uh, please understand this. You guys can and basically um, use the prophet's name as much as you want. But as far as I'm concerned, these are stuff you guys attribute to the prophet. I don't accept for a moment that the prophet had anything to do with this stuff. However, just to go just to go with you you guys uh, argument all i'm saying is if you want to associate left right and center whatever you want and say the prophet said it 
cool. What you guys forgot is that the Prophet doesn't have any authority other than what God has given him. So you need to prove from the Quran that the Prophet had any authority or, the, or, or his role as a messenger had any... Please let me land, man. Or his role as a messenger had any authority whatsoever to add to the Quran. Yeah, are you done? But whatever you just said kind of contradicts with the Quran and talk now. What you going to Sorry? Say? What you just said is kind of contradicts with the Quran. What did I just say? Uh, in Surah Al-Ahzab 38, it says, uh, There is no blame on the Prophet concerning what Allah has made lawful for him. Such as uh, such was the way of the uh, such was the way of Allah with those uh, prophet who came before, and Allah commands in His decree firmly determined. Why did you think that verse somehow aided any of your points? I mean, that verse simply says that the prophet can do anything God has made lawful for him. Who says otherwise? So if it's made him lawful, that means. Uh, he could have changed the Quran, right? He could have altered okay. the Quran. What Quran. what has what has been made lawful for him though? The Sunnah. The prove it. The okay, prove it. It literally says in the Vaya here. Okay, no, no, no. Does the verse that you just read say anything about Sunnah or anything or anything of the sort? Is that what the context speaks about? You know, I, you know, I know the Quran very well. You do know that, right? Should I? Uh... Should I recite, recite the ayah again one more time? I was oh, so, 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 you, oh, so, so, so you think you recited anything to do with the sunnah? Okay, 